idea. Over here, we are trying to publish the Node Express server on AWS EC2 Windows instance. Currently, on the left hand side, you can see I have Express. And uh, first, I'm going to run that one locally and let's deploy that one on AWS. It's quite interesting. Let's start. So, basically, it's a very simple app, just like Hello Programmer and uh, nothing fancy. So, I, I've already configured node mon and then if i run npm run watch which is in that in that script and then it will listen to port 3000 and the server is up and running on 3000 okay let's start so as you can see this one is up and running properly now we have to deploy this on a aws ec2 instance so i'll quickly go and build it so this is aws console i have already opened if I go over here, is it instance? And then I just need to go launch instance and choose Windows and select first one. And then I'm choosing the like 8 GB RAM or 8 or 16 GB RAM. So, you know, it will go faster. As of now, I don't bother about uh, as of now, like uh, the configuration thing. But this is the most important thing. So you have to select the subnet, select the first one, no problem. And this is the most important thing. You have to auto assign public IP. What is that? So you know, once you give your access to this specific EC2 instance of your Windows machine to you know access by publish public, so you just need to tell that this should be enabled to everyone. Okay, and that's how it will be enabled to everyone and nothing much. Just go down, go to storage. You don't want, keep it as it is, no need tag. And yeah, over here, this is the most important thing. Now, you have to create a security group. What is security group? So security group in the sense like what IPs you want to hit to that specific EC2 instance, okay? For example, um, 198.162.0.1 and you want that specific IP address, just put it there and you will ready to go. And what port number? So as of now, in our condition, our server is running on port 3000, as you can see. So we have to tell this machine saying that this port should be enabled to public, okay? So just need to assign over here, go to add role and go here, custom CCP IP, TCP IP, that's fine. And over here, select anywhere. So if you are selecting anywhere, first four digit means like it's like uh, uh, it's available for IPv4 public for everyone. And if this is a double colon, that, that means it's applic applicable for IPv6 for everyone. Now, for, for my understanding, what I believe, sometimes it doesn't work. So you just go and add all traffic, something like that. and you should mention over here all traffic with uh, sorry you just go to tcp ip over here you just go in not anywhere so okay that's that's fine as of now that's that's totally fine we don't need that one that's totally fine we'll keep it simple if error comes i'll show you how to resolve it okay Let's go and start building it. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So let's say, yeah, this is one, one of the most important thing as well. One more thing. So you have to, you know, <clears throat> create a, always, always create a new pair as of now, because I believe that this should, you know, give you uh, the uh, ability to download key pair value. So I'll just for now, I'll just type AD, AWC EC2 Windows instance v2 kind of like version two. I just mentioned I'm just mentioning keep downloaded and put it here only itself. Okay, now go and launch the instance. And second thing, okay, I think yeah, it's quite fast. It's up and running. Beautiful. Now you might have seen that. Uh, uh, we didn't mention the security group inside. So we have to go over here.
inside our instance, go down, go to security tab, go down, So inside that inbound rules, so I think it's just started. So just need to wait for some time to get the security group. I got the security group, go inside that security group and then check. So that security group was assigned. So now over here, if you, if you have seen like this, like port range, nothing is mentioned over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna add one more port. to 3000. So inbound rule, what I'm saying, telling to this machine that, okay, if somebody hits this specific instance, what is this specific instance now? So if you go back to this instance, you will find this IP address. So this is the public facing IP address, take that one. So where you wanna go inside this uh, EC2 instance? So take, go inside 3000. And what that 3000 will be having, that 3000 will be having our nodes server up and running. So uh, what I'm gonna go, I'm gonna assign this and save as, as it is. So that security grid is applied to our EC2 instance. Now I'm gonna go connect, go to RDP. First download this remote desktop file. And this is the fun part as well. So how do you, how you can connect it? So just, you know, install that uh, uh, RDP file and then download it and open it and you will find a connection like this. And if you connect and it will ask you like that. So, you know, over here you have to <coughs> assign the password, but what is the, my password? So if you click this one, you will, you will see that you have to give something over here. So, you know, just drag and drop. Remember that one, we saved the key value pair. Just drag and drop, control A, go back to this one, control V and decrypt it to get a password. So that's how you got the password. Now you got a password over here, just go over here, paste it, done. So now it will ask you like this, you wanna go inside? Yes, definitely I wanna. So it will open your server like that. That's the beauty. Now, <clears throat> what I'm gonna go over here, inside this machine. So I'll just explore, just explore you. So now this machine has everything, but sorry, this version doesn't have everything. So we have to install Node.js, uh, Git, and everything for you know running the application. So I'm gonna go and run it and come back and let's see, I'll just stop over, like pause over here and then we will go from there. Let's see how it works. Uh, in addition, I just wanted to show you one more thing that that over here you cannot go to some different uh, website so over here you have to configure something so if you go and yeah this pop up box is very important go over here mention like www.google.com and then add it so it will come exactly at the down side and close it so i don't want this just close it and we are ready to go now if i go to google.com
I can go, but you know, if I, you know, try to download something. So if I try to download Chrome, okay, I'll just go to this website. I, when I'm trying to hit it, it says that you don't have, uh, like it's secure, due to security reason, you cannot download it in this instance. Definitely that is important, right? So how to bypass it, you know? So go to the Windows over here, Windows folder, and search for server manager. Server manager. And then from there, uh, go inside to local server and I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but yeah, it's, it's just disable IE enhanced security configuration, click on on and whatever the administrator is on, put it to off and you are ready to go. Just save it and then close this window, refresh this page. and down, try to download it one more time. Uh, you have to close it uh, again, the Fire uh, Chrome, uh, sorry, IDE, uh, Internet Explorer, and then go inside, and then down. So, and, here you go, you can download like that. So just run it and then <clears throat> from here, you can you can start uh, downloading your node application, your uh, VS code, whatever you want. So I'll just quickly go and uh, install each and everything and come back to you guys. All right, I have installed Git and uh, Node.js on uh, the Windows instance. Now I'm gonna clone the repo. Okay. Perfect. So I think I got, yep, yeah, I got uh, the repo as well. So I'm going inside this project and then clear. Now I'm going to run that over here. So npm install first. And okay, so it's not dead same. So let me check. It's not dead. I think it's not being installed properly. So just quickly go and check why it's not being installed. So that can fix it. Actually, that was installed, but you know, I, I haven't uh, restarted that uh, spawn thing. So I just close this. I need to restart the bash. Bash. So yeah, we started. Now let's see. Node has me. Yes, I have. Now let's see. I um, need to go to Amir. Let's see. Yep, I'm on the directory and then npm. So we've been installing all the packages. Now I'm gonna check it in pin and watch. Now, we are assuming that uh, it's up and running on this port. So let's first check slowly baby steps that okay, it's running or not. So I'll go and type localhost colon 3000. Perfect, it's there. 
now but we don't want this url we want something else so let me go we want the instance url so go to your instance and then <clears throat> from here go down and get this url and go back and paste it over here from still is running that's that's a good thing okay we got our url now okay let me try go out and print it over here like the print not print i would say like run it so it should work right it should it won't because you know it's going to that uh, host it's going to that uh, it's trying to go to that 3000 but you know in windows it's being blocked by firewall so you have to you know go into the windows and go over here and say firewall and go to turn off make it turn off both the things and i believe it should work because we already assigned 3000 there so see as soon as i run that one it's up and running over here in the external system so uh, if i hit it i'll just zoom it now i'll just hit it and here we go that's our program thanks for watching but i have uh, a question every time i have to install the new software's new versions new kit and everything pull everything from there what if we have a good thing like something um, uh, everything we will bundle like our software our requirements node.js kit and everything together so that we just take that bundle and deploy somewhere else in the ec2 instance so that in future we just need to run that bundle that bundle is nothing but a docker let's see in other video how can we install docker configured node application and deploy it on linux it would be interesting thanks for watching Bye for now.